unexplained lights in the skies, haunting screams in abandoned asylums, people disappearing into thin air, whispers of encounters that chill you to the bone. Are they just myths, or is there something more? I'm Austin, and these are the Spook Files. Time flows forward, relentless, uncaring, unchanging. At least, that is the way it is supposed to work. But what happens when the boundaries blur? In 1957, three young cadets encountered something impossible. A village trapped in the past. A haunting echo of a forgotten tragedy. This is the Spook Files, and we're diving into the chilling mystery of the Cursey Time Slip. On a crisp October morning in 1957, three 15-year-old Royal Navy cadets, William Lang, Ray Baker, and Michael Crowley, embarked on a routine exercise that would forever alter the perception of reality. Their mission was simple. Navigate the Suffolk countryside, locate a waypoint, and report back to their commanding officers. But fate had a stranger destination in mind. As they trekked across the countryside, their target, the village of Kersey, beckoned. Church bells echoed. Smoke rose above the hills. They'd found it. But, from their first steps into Kersey, unease began to crep in. One by one, the sounds of nature hushed. The church bells disappeared, bird song stopped, leaves stopped rustling, leaving only the murmur of a nearby stream. And as they entered the village proper, The autumn leaves had transformed, now bursting with the vibrant green of springtime. The air felt still. The smoke they had followed had seemingly vanished, and the church tower could no longer be seen. Kersey's streets lay deserted, eerily silent on a Sunday morning. There were no people and it is said that the only animals they saw were ducks that sat quiet and unnaturally still near the stream. Yet, it wasn't the mere emptiness that chilled the cadets. It was the absence of the familiar. There were no cars, no telephone wires, no traces of modern life whatsoever. As they explored, they found the village empty, most buildings empty of furniture, no people anywhere. Then, as they continued to explore, they found a butcher shop. Peering into its windows revealed a horrific sight, rotting animal carcasses hanging within. Panic seized the cadets, and they decided to flee the uncanny village. As they crested a hill, they glanced back, and once again, smoke rose from the chimneys, the church bells echoed, and the church tower was visible, almost as if the village that they had just come from had never existed, as if their chilling encounter had never occurred. When the boys made it back to their commanding officers, the officers laughed it off and said that the boys had made it to Kersey all right. The mystery of Kersey lingered with Lang and Crawley. Years later, their paths would cross again, discussing their shared memory of the uncanny October day. In an attempt for answers, they reached out to Andrew McKenzie 
a respected investigator of the paranormal. Together, they returned to the countryside, determined to unravel the chilling mystery of Kersey. As they walked down the familiar streets, they relived every unsettling detail. Mackenzie listened intently. To him, the details provided a clear picture. The boys had experienced a time slip, a tear in the fabric of time itself, being transported back to a dark time in the village, the time of the Black Death. Mackenzie said this would explain the abandoned and quiet village. The reasoning behind animal carcasses being left behind due to the plague sickness, and adding even more fuel to this theory. During this time, the town church was under construction, explaining why they did not see a church tower. <laughs> now, the Kersey time slip remains an enigma. Did three young cadets truly stumble through a crack in time, witnessing a village ravished by the Black Death centuries in the past? Or is there another explanation buried beneath the weight of time? Let's delve into the theories that I tip to explain this unsettling encounter. Of course, it is worth noting Skeptics believe the story was fabricated by the cadets, either for attention or for amusement. After all, they were only 15 years old at the time. However, many point out that the men were fully grown by the time they came back to the town. Some believe the boys may have experienced a shared hallucination due to the stress of the exercise and exhaustion. They may have hallucinated seeing things in the village in a way that they were not, and then building onto each other's version of the hallucination as they discuss the details on the way back. Others believe the boys experienced a real-world phenomenon called derealization, where the real world seems unreal. This can involve seeing things in a way that are different to what they really are. Seeing things such as trees in different colors than they really are. Seeing animals as being still, unmoving, when they really aren't. Now, there are also some who believe the boys were part of a government experience that they were not aware of. This theory states that an experiment was conducted and changed the boys' views of the town, explaining their odd views as well as the commanding officer's disregard for the weird events. There is, of course, no proof of any government experiments on the boys or any explanation of what type of experiment would have caused this. Finally, there is the already mentioned theory of the time slip. According to this theory, the boys slipped out of their time into a time hundreds of years ago, seeing the village as it once was. While this is the theory that Andrew McKenzie used to explain the events, many point out that the boys could have simply been confused. You see, they were not from the area and may have been surprised to see so many older-looking buildings in the village. And while Kersey in the 50s did have power, the village did hide the power lines, not to take away from the view of the historic city. The description of the butcher shop is also a red flag for many. You see, during the time of the plague, it would be rare for a town of that size to have a butcher shop. And additionally, during the time, glass was expensive, so a building having glass windows would have been equally rare. Still, those who support the time slip theory 
point out that even if they were just confused by the age of the buildings, why was their meat rotting in one of the buildings? Why did they say many of the buildings had no furnitures? What of those oddly still ducks and the missing church tower? It is also worth noting that Baker, the third boy there that day, said years later he could not recall anything out of the ordinary about their visit to Kersey. The Kersey time slip continues to baffle and intrigue the public. Whether a collective hallucination, a time slip, or an elaborate hoax, the incident serves as a reminder of the mysteries that may lie just beyond our understanding. The world is a strange and mysterious place. What we encounter tonight serves as a reminder. There's more to this reality than we understand. Keep your eyes open, question the shadows, and remember, the truth may be closer than you think. Until next time, stay curious, stay spooky, and good night.